Let's make it a little different, maybe there. So here the tool comes down, comes down to our clearance, our plunge. Now it's ramping into that, and now we're machining all the way around. And when that's finished, it'll take that tool and it will, it'll pull it up and out of the pocket or out of the uh, the slot. There we go. So that works great. You can use a traditional pocket anytime you want a slot, and it's a nice, safe way to ramp the tool into that. Now lastly, let's go ahead and machine these holes. I'm going to use the same hole wizard that we used in the previous movies. And by using hole wizard, one CNC has actually found two types of holes. We have a hole here that's .3937, and if I highlight this hole here, you can see this turns red, and this gives me another hole at uh, 1.57 in diameter. Well, we really only want to machine these outside holes, so I'm just going to check that. And we'll click Next. Our rapid Z-plane looks good at one inch. Our plunge clearance looks good at 100 thousandths. The top of the material is zero. And in our previous videos, we talked about how you can spot drill. You could counterboard, drill, tap, ream, whatever you want. But for these four holes, I'm just going to keep it simple and say all we want to do is drill that. So I just click on drill, it adds it over here to our hole operations. Now I have to fill the parameters out for this drill, so I'm just going to double click that. And we're going to click this, we're going to select drill. I don't have a 3937 drill, so I'm going to use this 3 8 drill here. And then down here I can just type in .3937. That looks good. And this is going to be turret position, I'm going to say 5 for that. We'll click next, and the uh, depth of cut. I'm going to say we're going to drill this minus, oh, let's go minus one inch on this. Uh, here you've got two different types of drilling. If you choose machine uh, cycle, it will output a can cycle. If you select automatic drilling, it will not output a can cycle. It will just output G0s and G1s. Don't worry, either one of these will still drill the holes. I'm going to go with a can cycle, though. I'm going to go with a machine cycle. Our depth of hole is going to be minus one inch. And I'm going to use this G83 deep hole cycle. The reason why I'm using that is it will peck, it'll peck drill, and I'm going to use a value of 200 thousandths per peck. And we'll click Finish. Now that I've satisfied all the parameters for this drill, we can go ahead and click Finish, and there is our drill operation. I think what I'll do is I'll quickly sketch some stock here. Let's go to Line, Rectangle. We'll click OK to that. Sketch. I'm going to left click. The first point, go to sketch, left click the second point, there's our stock, so we'll click cancel. And now if we want to, we can simulate the whole thing here. So we're going to just right click up here on the group and select simulate. And we're going to pick a boundary for our stock. The uh, top of the stock is going to be Z0, the bottom of the stock is going to be, let's make that minus one inch there. We'll click OK to that. Now we have to digitize our stock, so I'm just going to left click our boundary and then right click and then here's our here's our toolpath so we're roughing the outside and your stock can be any shape I made a rectangle but you can make that any shape that you'd like now we're going to change tools and ramp into the pocket now I've got a little island there on the pocket I want to show you how you can fix that this is something that you need to keep in mind when you're using the traditional type toolpath for pocketing what you do is come back to your pocketing cycle which is right here I'm going to double click that and select edit operation. Next, 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 next one more time. And all you want to do is just play with your step over. And what I always do is just change it by a little bit. I'm going to change it to 66% of the tool diameter. Let's go next with that. Next and finish. That looks good. And let's right click up here, select simulate, same parameters, grab that outside boundary with a left click and then a right click. So again, here's our, our outside machining. I might speed this up just a little bit. There's the outside. There's our pocket. Now you can see there's no island left in there. And all I did was I just increased that step over percentage by just a little bit. That's looking good. And we're almost to depth. We're getting close there. It's going to finish this and then down to one more depth of cut. It's not a very deep cut there. But there's our last depth of cut. And then using the same tool, there's our finish profile on there. There's our slot. You can see we ramped in. There's our ramp in for our circular slot. And there's our four holes. 
And just like in all the other videos, let's finish this by post-processing, making a CNC program. You can do that just by selecting this first button. Select Post. Make sure you've got the right machine tool selected. I'm using a bridge port for this, a BOSS 6. We'll say Post. And on the desktop, we're going to call this Demo 4. So Demo 4. That's going to be the name of the CNC program. I'll click Save. And there's the program. Hey, thank you very much for watching. And I will talk to you in the upcoming videos. Thank you so much.